everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome back to my kitchen today. We are going to show you how to make spreadable butter. You know you see it in the grocery store and you, you look in it and you think, that's a really great idea. But you don't buy it because you like butter, maybe it's too margarine-like for you. But I'm telling you what, this is real butter. It is cut with some uh, vegetable oil or um, we've used olive oil and coconut oil and it's super easy to make. It's gonna stay soft and spreadable in your refrigerator and you're gonna love it. Let's go see how this all comes together. Okay, making spreadable butter. You know you go to the grocery store and you find in the, you know, but the butter section where they have all the spreads and the cream cheese and the butter and the margarine and stuff, where they have spreadable butter made with olive oil or sunflower oil or something like that. You can totally make that at home. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. What you're gonna basically need is three things. You need two sticks of butter that are softened at room temperature do not attempt to soften these in the microwave. Just put them out on the counter for a couple of hours and let them get nice and soft. And then what you're gonna do is we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of olive oil. This is a light olive oil. That's not what's in the bottle because I refill the bottle. And a quarter of a cup or so of organic coconut oil. And that is up to you. You can use all coconut oil or you can use all olive oil. It's entirely up to you. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna whip the butter until it is a little fluffy and then we're gonna start to add other things to it. Now as you go, you wanna scrape down the sides of the bowl. You can also do this in a stand mixer. It is entirely up to you, but you see how this got a little fluffy and it's a little paler in color. That's how we want it. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the olive oil. You can use whatever neutral oil of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and put the coconut oil in here as well. And now we're gonna blend. Now you wanna start slow because that liquid olive oil, it is gonna not want to incorporate, but the longer that you whip it, the easier it will be. All right, get it blended in there really well and stop at least once to scrape down the bowl and then go back in for like um, 30 seconds or so just to make sure everything is well blended. This looks perfect. This is exactly how you want it to look. Now I just have a container here that would be the similar size to what you would get in the store. And it's gonna be easy for you to get your knife in there and use this to butter your toast or whatever, put on pancakes. There you have it, spreadable butter. And it tastes like butter. It's just with the addition of that little bit of oil, it's gonna be a lot easier to spread. So what I'm gonna do is stick this in the fridge for about a half an hour or 45 minutes, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, this has been in the fridge for about 45 minutes and then I popped it in the freezer for about 15 because I wanted to get this video finished for you guys. So you can see, look, because it was in the freezer, but but it's really, it's gonna be very easy once it's in the fridge, it's nice and soft, but look at how nice that is. And I toasted up a couple of English muffins. And we're just gonna butter those up for you. Nice and soft. Perfect. Be perfect in the morning or whenever you need to have nice, soft, spreadable butter. This is a way that you can have it 
and make it on your own. And you can put what oil you like to put in there, in there. So that's it, super easy. That's how you make soft spreadable butter at home with just a couple of ingredients. I hope that you totally give this a try. I would like to thank you for joining me today. And if you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button. If you are new to my channel, welcome. It's always wonderful to have new people visit me. Please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you are a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please remember to hit the bell notification button so you don't for miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our kit in our right here from our kitchen. And she, what I just totally lost my train of thought. Okay. If you're a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, don't forget to hit that bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you'll give making spreadable butter a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.